28 years ago, they tied the knot and their marriage survived both the NFL and Hollywood. Now they're helping reality TV queens also find true love in their new show, Queen's Court. Yeah. Please welcome Rodney and Holly Robinson. Pete! <laughs> Can I just, guys, how are you? We're wonderful. Thanks, guys. Can I just say 28 years together? You guys look like you're 28 years old. It, it, you really do. <laughs> Am I wrong? Yeah. Looking hey, great. I always, I always look good when I'm next to her. That's why you've been married 28 years. <laughs> that's, the, yeah. that's the right age. Right that's, that's the secret. We're done. Mic drop. I love it. You guys are just a beautiful couple. And uh, so let's get right into it, guys. Holly, as the co-host of Queen's Court, one of the co-hosts of Queen's Court, you're helping both Tamar, Evelyn, and Nivea find true love. What helped you guys survive all the challenges that come with marrying and dating a fellow celeb? Wow, it, that's a, a long answer, but the short, a long question, short answer, but the Bottom line is it's just really a matter of being on the same page, right? Rodney and I knew that our love was worth fighting for. We have certainly gone through some things. Mm -hmm. uh, we 30 years ago, we're still together. And that was one of the reasons why we really were excited about coming on and co-hosting because we wanted to share some of our secret sauce, if you will. But we also know, you know, we knew the pitfalls. So we love these ladies so much. We were so invested in them finding kings. And it was just a blast to film. All right, well, Rodney, you already nailed it. You knocked that out of the park with the first uh, answer. So let's see if you can tell us, tell, talk to the dudes, what's the secret <laughs> to a long lasting marriage? <laughs> Well, I, I think Holly mentioned it. You got to stay on the same page. And I think one of the things that we did before we got married was we sat down with a therapist and we went over what we liked, what we didn't like, what the rules were. So we mm. we knew going in that there weren't going to be any surprises, whether it be kids, how we're going to raise our kids, how many kids we wanted, uh, you know, what was OK in a relationship and what was not OK. And we got all of that out of the way early and before we got married. And that helped us along the way. And it's an up and down journey. And you got to be able to be there. Everything's great when it's rosy and things are going good. Right. But in those tough times, are you going to run away or are you going to sit down and deal with it? And we chose to sit down and deal with it. I love it. So, Every Holly, later, they're still beautiful, sitting down. beautiful. Holly, Tamar is getting married, and she actually met her fiancé on Queen's Court. Were you surprised she actually found love on a reality show? Because who does that? And I'm just being suspicious. Suspicious? Suspicious? What I was going to say is I found love on a reality show, oddly enough, without that facetious. <laughs> Listen, we, there was a time when people laughed at online dating. I know a lot of people who have found mates, you know, and life partners online. So why not a reality show? I think what I love most about Queen's Court is that these are three women who have lived their lives in the public. They've shared their journeys, their ups, their downs, their drama. They've worked on themselves and grown. So um, they were open to it. Our job was to get them to throw away that list. You know, that list, he need to be this, he need to be that, he need to be this. Our job was to get them to go, hey, you know what? listen don't judge a book by its cover be open to love and you never know what what happened and it just so happens that this experiment worked and we're just pulling for these couples well i am all in on queen's court i finished it recently i went down the twitter sphere to see how everybody else felt about it what i love so much about the show is it's the ultimate comeback story for love because what we think we know about the queens we really don't know, so it's so exciting. But there was one part in the show, without giving away any spoilers, where one of the queens didn't want her family to meet the people that she was she was dating before she was committed. So do you think it's important to get input from family about who you're dating? It just depends. For that one queen, he was cousin Rodney, and I was a <laughs> Holly, and we, we were her family. I, I think it just depends. Family's tricky. So I, I admired and totally respected her choice to not have her family there and have her family weigh in. And that's what another thing I loved about Queen's Court. Every one of these queens was different, had a different vibe, different energy, and they found their king by committee. They weren't in fighting, they weren't going at each other, and they supported each other on this journey. You guys, well, I'm a fan. I'm a huge this fan, and I love work. seeing you guys on on Queen's Court. It's such a reminder of all the things that are possible. You sitting in front of the three of them was like so impactful. So thank you for bringing that to the table because so many people needed to see that. 
Absolutely. Thank you. Welcome. Ah, oh, the beautiful story. I love that. Good yeah, button, Erica. Jeff, let me just say, so okay. good, we didn't get a chance to get to it, but uh, I have a, a, a son that's on the spectrum, and you guys, and just following your journey, has helped me so much. I'm hosting another Autism Benefit next week. I've written a kid's book about it. He's the light of my life. And I appreciate you guys cause, because honestly, y your son's older now, my son's eight. You guys were pioneers in this field before people even really knew what autism was. So thank you, thank you, thank you. There's no question there, just thank you. We're receiving that. It's yeah. Autism Awareness, Action, Acceptance Month, all the autism things and thank you so much for that that was one of the reasons why we wanted to speak openly and honestly about our son's journey and um we wish you all the best with your son obviously you're advocating like like crazy for him so keep moving forward on that thank you guys. that's beautiful 28 years strong right there holly and rodney thanks so much for joining us today to our audience you can watch queen's court now streaming on peacock thank you again guys we'll be right back come back soon